Hey guys, Zach here. Welcome back. Episode number two of Near Death. Oh man. So, we are in the hab. We need to go over to the water f supply s uh, facility to accomplish our goal. Try to get that going again. And uh, we need to definitely take the bridge <laughs> in order to continue the main storyline. Alright, so we're going to work on that right now. Get moving here. Oh gosh, about a near death experience outside my house. I'm sitting there, my wife's feeding the little one on the couch, the final bottle of the night. The other one's, the oldest one's been tucked in. And then out of nowhere, we see out of the out of the bay window, the car being chased by another car. The lead car's going backwards in reverse um, in front of her house, being chased by another car. It's almost like that scene in uh, Patriot Game. I think it was Patriot Games. No, Clear and Present Danger, where they're being attacked. Where the convoy's being attacked. Okay, so we need to take this bridge here. And uh, then a car stop down at the road, a, a sort of like a side street, and then they peel off again and come flying back down again and uh, make it difficult. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Okay, there we go. So we landed down here, make a decision, gotta go a certain direction. Which way are we heading? So that's south. We don't wanna go. S yeah, I guess we do wanna go south. Right? Yeah, let's go south. Um. So, anyway, the car that was in reverse the whole time pulled into a house about three three houses down from where we are on the same side of the street as us, and then the car that was chasing that car stopped about in front of my house, between my house and my neighbor's house. Guy gets out, and I could hear yelling and cussing and stuff like that. I'm like, what in the world's going on? So I poked my head out there, and uh, when I saw the cars go down the street the wrong way and I could hear arguing the far side, I, I went to the closet, uh, uh, the coat, coat closet just inside the front door where I keep my pistols up on the top shelf and um, I grab my pistol and uh, I was just standing at my front door waiting to see what happened the guy stops in front of our house and is yelling about well you just signed your own death warrant and stuff like that and gets out of his vehicle starts walking down towards the neighbor's house where the first vehicle uh, that was being chased pulled into so I'm like oh Jesus you know nobody typically in these situations that's the green Nobody in these situations typically, uh, are we going to warm up here or not? There we go. Yeah, we did. So I'm going to pause here and uh, tell you guys the story. Um, nobody typically gets out of a car in unfamiliar territory, uh, basically as a visitor, uh, on someone else's home turf and goes walking directly towards a group of people like this guy was, with unless they're armed. And I'm thinking, man, I got one baby down, I got another one in my wife's arms being fed. And this is happening somewhat in front of my house. This ain't happening in front of my house. So I go out there with my pistol, hit like down behind my back, you know, sort of like behind my leg as I'm walking up. It's dark, really dark. It's about 10 o'clock at night. And I, uh, I'm i like, hey, police officer, off-duty police officer, and uh, identify myself to the guy who's walking. I'm like, you need to get out of here. And uh, he did an about face. Credit to him. At least he did an about face. And he's like, man, he tried to hit me, he, or he almost hit me with his car or something like that. And I'm like, you just need to go, man. Disengage, you can go. And he got back in his car and, and left. He might have had some choice words for me, but whatever. But he, he left. And then out of nowhere, my wife comes barreling out of that and down there. There's some other car that had stopped there that was just like, happened to be passing through the area and was trying to like, see if it was safe to go forward or what, couldn't tell what was going on. And uh, she goes running up to this car. She's like yelling at them. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. They, uh, they're, they're, you know, <laughs> they're not involved. Don't yell at them. And uh, she's going off on them. I'm like, geez. So anyway, uh, after it was all said, and she goes up to the house where the, the kid who was being chased was at because, uh, uh, and she started at basically demanding to know what that was all about because we had little babies inside the house and stuff. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Please, honey, go back inside the house. This is, I'm the cop. <laughs> You're the nurse. If anybody has a code out here, by all means, oh nice. By all means, we'll let you. Uh, uh, I'll let you uh, take the lead on that. In the meantime, let me do the cop stuff. I have it dis de escalated Just let me let me keep going here. <laughs> so anyway, she uh, she goes back inside the house and um, co you know, comes back and she's like, I'm really sorry. I'm like, yeah, I, I need for you to actually stay inside the house and protect the little ones. And uh, if anything happens, I need for you to be able to look after them, throw them in a freaking bathtub or whatever. But the last thing I need is I need another person out here that I'm trying to keep track of when tensions are running high. So 
it was one of those things where it's sort of a learning experience. Like, you need to let me take the lead on this. This is what I do for a living. <laughs> and uh, she's like, now I have a headache. I'm like, is it from... Oh, hey, here we go. This is sort of a... Are we back in the same room? No, teletype. Found a teletype. All right. So this is what we needed. Anyway, that was I made it back safe, and my wife made it back safe. Everybody made it back safe, but... It's one of those things where it's just like, oh my god. You know, I, I don't get involved. Typically, I'm a really good witness, a good observer if I see crimes happening. Um, you know, I, I try not to get involved and do that whole, I'm a police officer, stop, in the name of the law type thing. Because that's just not the way to do it. But the fact that this was going back and forth, back and forth in front of my house, and then they stop and get out of the car. I can't really see what's going on because it's so dark. But, man, just, I, I can't visualize somebody. It's like once they stop the car and they actually get out in a road rage incident, incident there's a high likelihood they're going to be carrying some sort of weapon. And um, that's not going to happen. Uh, not in front of my house anyway. Not with little ones in the, just inside the windows. So, All right, a guide to show to, ha to stay warm while out in the field recommends using a mylar safety blanket as an extra interior jacket liner in emergency. With a few modifications, you may be able to create permanent insulation layer. That's not the one I needed. Okay. Anyway whatever whatever okay let's use a teletype here see what we can figure out this place is trying to kill me all right sutro antarctica is trying harder than ever to kill me just took a flight without a plane I was heading to water bridges out i need out of here any vehicles on site vehicles this is what i needed vehicles hold well inventory indicates crew left the snowcat on site phase two hauling uh but MacTown. 225 miles would never make the trip. Uh, on site for phase two hauling, but Mac Town, 225 miles would never make the trip. Hmm. Maybe we can. Can make it. Make it. Can re uh, refit for long distance. Crazy idea. Hmm. Got a better idea. Sure, but preferable to freeze, starve to death, in dark isolation while typing last words to you. Point taken. All right, so Snowcat is stored in Sutro Garage on northeastern edge of installation. Uh, reckon it's worth a look. Head in there now. Okay. So we need to make it to the garage. I'm going to check it out. You guys have a run and diagnose to see what I'm going to have to do to get this thing ready for a long trek. Feels good to have a plan, even a nuts one. I say she just hunkers down for the two weeks. I mean, it's two weeks. You can survive without food for two if If... Naked and Afraid has not taught us anything else. It's that you can survive without food for two weeks. No problem. So just hang out, man. Hang out. Or how about this? Just have him do an airdrop. Or just have Amazon deliver food. I still don't know why we're not using Amazon to solve this problem. Alright, so... Here's a... Crate we can search here. A sample bowl. Alright, I'm trying to use these, this sparingly. I know we find lots of... Uh, let's take a look at our inventory real quick here. Yeah, I got seven batteries. I mean, I know we got lots of batteries and stuff. We got four kerosene and stuff, but... I'm just paranoid like that. I like to try to be as efficient as possible. Oh, anyway. Oh, I guess I could have technically arrested that guy for felonious assault because he was threat. He was yelling, you know, death warrant. I, you just signed your death warrant. And he was chasing a guy in, in a car. I mean, that's considered a deadly weapon, so... I guess you, I could have technically detained him for the for the deputies and uh, you know basically placed him under arrest because in Ohio you do have that you do have that power anywhere in the state to arrest for fel actually uh, citizens as long as it's a felony you can do a citizen's arrest for a felony but you better know what the heck you're doing if you're going to start restraining people otherwise you're going to get charged with unlawful restraint but anyway. Yeah, I was just like, I, my whole thing was I just wanted to get get everybody away from the front of my house. That was it. Get away from here. And uh, it ended up working out pretty good, <laughs> despite my wife's best efforts. But we've had a little talk about that. You know, <laughs> medical stuff, you're the, you're the man, so to speak. You're the woman, so to speak. But uh, pl cop stuff, let me handle it. You take care of the kids. If, if bullets start flying, I need to know that... These kids are are uh, being uh, protected. The last thing they need is both of us out outside the house bleeding out. All right, let's see if we can figure out a way to get out of here. I think this is the exit. In it. Where's the exit at? 
Am I just walking in? Oh, no. Right there's the exit. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Okay. So let's think this through here. Um, we are here. Wait, no. We're here. So we're going to need to basically go out and go back to comms and then to power. And then we're going to have to work our way around to the garage area, which isn't too hard. So let's just get out of here and go to, go to the comms. So we're going to need to go basically northwest through this little passage here. This is going to be dead end. Everything else is dead ends. So let's do that. And we're kind of facing that direction right now, actually. So hopefully. Hopefully it's not too hard to find. I don't even need that, really. What's this? Does this say comms? Thank you. Thank you for the... I'm going to follow the street light. Should be able to just run, basically. Yeah, alright. There we go. Just follow the lights. I think this is I think this is one of the ways, right? Sorta, kinda, sorta. Whoa! Whoa, man, that was a quick drop. I was not expecting that. Here's comms. We're gonna get in here real quick just to warm up. Could probably just go for power. Let's just go for the power facility. <laughs> starting to get cold, starting to get cold. That's alright, that's alright. Yeah, let's go over here real quick. Get inside. We should be all right. It's starting to slow down, which indicates that we're starting to get a little bit, a little bit frigid. But we should be good now that we're in this room. I don't see any holes. Yep, we're gonna be good. All right, so we're in the power facility now. Now we just need to make it over here to garage and uh, get in there. I think, I think we have to go through the roof there, if I'm not mistaken. Check out that temperature. Wow, man, just, just stay in the rec room. Get yourself drunk and. <laughs> Eat insect. Well, probably not too many insects there. I don't know. Eat wood. I, there's got to be something like beer nuts or something, right? All right. So let's get going here. Uh, we warmed up a bit. Which way am I heading? Uh, east. That's the wrong direction. I need to go this way. North. There we go. That's sort of the right direction. Pretty sure that there's a sign or something up here that we can use. Yeah, let's check out up here. Let's see what this sign says. Garage this way. Okay, yep. I was heading the right direction. Should just trust my instincts. I wonder how many times we're going to freeze to death before we finish this game. Hey, there's the garage. We passed a... Uh, we actually skipped that. Let's go in here real quick. There's a field storage area here. Throw down our little lantern or you know, kerosene heater. Kerosene, kerosene, rope. Uh, is that it? I think that's it, isn't it? Yep, okay. Oh, poles. Hey, what else am I missing? Anything else? Nope, I think that's it. Oh, let's go ahead and refill kerosene. Since was wanting us to do that. There we go. Alright, let's head on down. To the garage. That door's frozen shut. That's a no-go. Now, I've been in here before. You need to actually climb in. I'm trying to remember how you climb in. Yeah, okay, that's right. They go up here. Can I repair this? Ah, we'll, we'll get that fixed. We'll get that fixed. Don't you worry. Let's do that real quick. Well, you know what? Let's get inside first. Let's see if we can get inside first. Oh, there we go. Oh, can't get inside there? What the heck? How about here? Alright. Should warm us up. Got some canvas. Nice. What else? Anything else? Can I get up here? Nope, nothing up there. What is that? Oh, just a light. Alright. Now, here's the torch. Now, I could not pick this up before. Now, I can. 
So the last time I played the game, I was kicking that thing all over the floor and couldn't get out pick that thing up. So I think we can actually use that to get inside. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's make our wiring kit first. Let's do that real quick while we're here. Let's go ahead and make that bypass kit. Bam. Got plenty for that. We can do like three more. Solder's going to be the only thing that we're uh, missing on that. Uh, Parker liner, can I do it? I need plastic ties. Shoot. All right. Snow pants ladder already created, so we don't need to make another one of those. So if we see plastic ties, we're, we'll be in good shape. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head back out. Head back out here and uh, get this thing wired up right quick. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got lights. We got lights. I see lights inside. All right, let's see if I can blowtorch through this thing here. Can I use it? Is it working? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It melted it, didn't it? There it goes. It's melting the ice. Okay, so that's what I have to do. It's frozen shut. I guess it's basically what the. Uh... Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, that's lame. <laughs> something obstructing the entrance on the opposite side there. That's too bad. Okay, so we're feeling better. Let's see if we can get in this one. I hope this blowtorch doesn't have a... doesn't take kerosene or anything. I hope he can just... has like an unlimited su supply. I feel like I'm terraforming. Hey, that's better. Alright, so it's still cold in here. Let's see if we can find somewhere that's actually sealed up. Okay, this... This looks like it's... Oh yeah, this looks like a nice, safe area. Alright, here's the snow cat. Good, good, good. How many of these can we pick up? Nice, I like that. Let's just do some... Uh... Oh, we got a blueprint. Let's check that out real quick. Okay. Park a rope pole. Is that what I'm able to do now? Or light pole. Uh, I think that's a light pole, probably. I don't know. Was there something else? I think it's either one of those two. All right, let's take a look around here. So we're gonna got ourselves a jack. Don't think that's gonna lift that or even come close to that. So we got there wrench, fuel, sample poles. What we got here? Anything? Any documents? Any documents I can read at all? Oh, apparently, it does pick it up. Okay. Yeah. What we got here? Whoa! It's cold out there. Close that door. What in the world? Oh, I got pressed. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm like, what in the world's going on with this door? This door's like, got a mind of its own. What do we got here? Some solder? Any solder? Come on. Oh, here we go. Field manual. Portable heater. Okay, calibrate it. Half the canister's output, so. Alright, so basically I can modify my... I can modify my uh, heater and make it more efficient and more uh, effective at the same time. Okay, nice. I like having power buildings. It feels so much better. Battery assembly. I'm still not sure. I'm still looking for zips, right? I'd like to get that Parker line in. That would be really nice. And I already checked all these. Water fountain? No go. Shockingly, the water fountain doesn't work. All right. Hey, what about this thing? What can I do here? Nothing. All right, let's hop in here and see what I can do. Can I do anything with this at all? Other than stand on it and look pretty all day, AD all day. Uh, nope. That's about all I can do with it. I'm gonna check around here, make sure there's nothing I'm missing. As far as uh, maintenance. Oh, that, that would be the probably be the spot. What? Oh, what's this up here? Hmm. All right. Let's check our objectives here. Uh, let them know about the snowcat in the garage. All right. Do we have a... I think I saw a teletype in here somewhere, didn't I? Oh, wait, there's more... No. Okay. Didn't I see a teletype? Oh, no. I'm seeing a rope, though. More poles. Somewhere they really want me to use poles. Those light poles. Part of me wants to go through this door here. Let's check this out real quick. See what happens. I'm not sure where this leads, but 
We'll figure it out. Whoa! That just goes right outside. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to fight to shut that door. Okay, there we go. There we go. Pick up sample pole, sample pole, nothing else. Let's close that door. I need to keep that open. I guess it doesn't matter. There's a big hole in the roof. Big gaping hole in the roof. All right, shut that door. <sighs> nice and warm in here now. Reload battery. All right, let's head on back here. There's a teletype. Let's jump on it real quick. I know it's cold here. Snowcat is intact. <laughs> Check you did it. Sorry, typos. Hands begin basically frozen. Anyway, Snowcat is present and attacked. As am I, more or less. You guys, you ran diagnostic. You there? I'm here, not going anywhere. I have to tell you. Pauses between our conversations extremely, um, harrowing. Let's trade places. <laughs> yeah, let's trade places. Geez, I feel for you, Jack. Must be awful sitting there with your heater <laughs> company. Though I have to say, I can't really recommend stumbling around the most terrifying environment on Earth in pitch black with just flashlight either. Sorry, sarcasm warms me. Thanks for your concern. Do you have a plan? I read I read uh, gibberish better than I can actual English. It's amazing. Um, yes, I have plan. Spoke to Odile in engineering. Priorities are increased fuel capacity, modified setup for long di distance communication, both possible via salvaging equipment. There's an LD antenna installed at comms, but retrieval is dangerous. You also need to grab a transmitter as per situ acquire storage tank from watermelon. Okay, I'll figure it out. Grab antenna transmitter from comms and a tank from the water. Don't die in the process. Got it. Stand by. Be some time before I report back. All right, good enough. Let's hop back in here and warm our, warm our bones again. All right. Retrieve communications equipment. So I'm going to do that one first. Get long range transmitter. Get long range antenna. Find a water tank. Man, I don't know. I kind of want to go to the water place first. Turn and activate the orange generator. I think I want to go water place first because I think now that I have that blowtorch, I can definitely get in the water facility. Yeah, let's do that. Since we're right around the corner anyway, let's just head over there. So, uh, yeah, we'll go there. We'll go there first. We're going to get this thing up and running. All right. Search desk. I haven't searched this desk. I probably didn't search the other desk either. Nope, sure didn't. Battery. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, definitely didn't search this one. No, where's my zips? I need my zips. Zip ties, baby. All right, just warming up again. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. F5. Saving in case of certain death. All right. Whoa, it's getting nasty out here. Which way are we heading? We are pointing uh, east. That is the correct direction to go. Trying to stay low here. Let's follow the rope. Yeah, the weather is getting nasty. Nasty, nasty. Go ahead and get the uh, light poles out here and start planting these. I have a feeling we might need them for the return trip here. Let's go ahead and blow torch our way in here. So we can warm up. That's my idea. Be a nice little stopping area. All right, there we go. All right, what we got? Rope, duct tape. Can't carry more duct tape. Come on, but I could carry huge ropes. Oh, I can't carry any more of those. Well, all right, apparently. What is this? There's something up there. All right, let's uh, put that away. Put that away. Let's take a look at our inventory. How many is that? Batteries? Duct tape's 10, so we max out of 10. I wonder if that's for everything, we max out of 10. Can we craft anything? Parker liner still waiting on that. Yeah. Still wait. Oh, heater safety bypass. Increases. So I need a plastic tie there. I tell you what, the Parker liner is going to be the first one that gets plastic ties. So, all right. You ready, guys? Let's go ahead and F5 this, save it, and uh, 
prepare for the worst and hope for the best. All right, let's do this. Wait, wait, no, no, I'm inside again. No, close the door. Okay, fine, don't close the door. I don't care. Don't close the door. That's fine. I don't know how bad the weather's going to be on the way out of here. That's the reason why I'm dropping these. So I made it all the way out here once and came up to this door and I'm like, okay. Good stuff. And then I couldn't get in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get it done. Alright, is it warm in here or not? I can't tell. I think it is. Nope. Sounds like she's still cold. Sounds like we need to get the... These look like maybe auxiliary lights. Hard to... Okay, yeah. I needed that... I needed that heater down there. Oops. Let's bring that heater back up. Refill it real quick. Alright. Okay, guys. We're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And uh, we'll see what we can find here at the water station now that we're inside. And the outdoor temp is now like negative 90 degrees Celsius. So it's kind of cold outside. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching.